Okay, I didn't find a book on carpentry, but I did find this. I know, right? Sure beats pee water. When war broke out, alcohol became impossible to get hold of. It was one of the first things to stop being produced. And I guess a lot of people were committing suicide, so alcohol helped them going through with it. All the stores were raided or destroyed, so alcohol was gone by 2044. Luckily, my grandparents kept a massive stockpile in our cellar. So, yeah, we had loads down there. But after my parents were killed, and my grandparents died, I decided to experiment with the different flavours in the cellar. The police and the army were really busy at the time and people were dying on every corner, so I never got a proper explanation to what happened to my grandparents. But the official report said it was a car accident. But I don't think so. I remember Grandad coming over and sitting me down and saying, when the rebels get to London, I must use this bunker. That was two days before they died. And after they'd gone, I came down to the cellar and drank anything that had a percentage. 100 year old wines, single malt whiskies, champagne cognac. Of course I had friends. I couldn't tell them about this place because next door was the entrance leading down to here. And you know, if one person knows, then ten people know, and my secret hiding place no longer would be secret. There was one person that knew about this place, though. My partner. We met at university, we fell in love, we got engaged, we had so many plans. We were going to go to Briel, get married on the moon of plants, have kids, settle down, build a home together. But it wasn't to be. After the war and the massacre began, Josh was helping two people avoid being shot on the road when he was shot himself. And when he died, a huge part of me died as well. He was the last person that I really loved. And now there's just me.